Okay, I know, I know. Yo, yo, yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Today we're at the uh, beverage place, and for a good reason, but we're gonna get to that in one second. Really fast, I wanna apologize to you guys because we had a bit of a hiccup on the duckswaterfowl.com website. Um, these hats, these olive ones that I've been showing you guys, a lot of you had messaged me and been like, hey, something's wrong on the site, yada, yada, yada. Well, it turns out that the shipping was messed up and it was trying to charge a butt ton for shipping on these hats in particular. And that was a typo. That was literally a fat finger typo. We apologize. I never expected you guys to pay $23 for shipping on a hat. But that's what happened. Uh, the shipping was all messed up on these olive hats, but it's fixed. The shipping is fixed. And like I said, I apologize. So on this hat today and today only, we are doing 20% off the brand new olive hats, as well as free shipping on anything over 50 bucks through the weekend. So, so if you end up spending 50 bucks on the Ducks Waterfowl website, anytime today through this weekend, you shall receive free shipping. But I will link this hat as well as the website and everything in the description below. But I'm vlogging in the truck because it's extremely windy out and yeah, it's just really bad. But like I said, we are, what are we doing here at the beverage place, Bob? Well, Bob likes a few beverages here and there, but um, my farmer buddies do too. So that's what we're doing. Let's get on the road and go drop our little present off, shall we? Well, we are here. We are here, we are here, and what are we doing here? I'm sure a lot of you are just kind of like, what the heck are you doing, Bob? Well, well, we drove way out into the country to uh, my farmer buddy's house. I'm going to keep his name private because you know how that goes. But this is what we're doing right here. We are showing our appreciation and we're giving back. My buddy helped me a lot, man. This is what you guys got to do. When you get permission from a farmer, you show your appreciation. Now, I'm not saying all of them give them alcohol. What I'm saying is, ask them what their favorite drink is. Hey, what do you like to sip on? Hey, how can I repay you? And if they say, oh, I don't need anything, or if they don't drink liquor, or if you're underage and can't buy liquor, to give them, which liquor's not the only payment. I mean, you know, it's just something us older men like you know not all of us like it but some of us do that's just kind of how it goes you know you ask them what their favorite beverage or what they like if they don't like alcohol or if they don't like or if they don't want anything that's when you send them a gift card in the mail you send them a fifty dollar hundred dollar gift card maybe to applebee's or a nice steak restaurant so he can take his wife out and then have a have an enjoyable evening you know this is what I do, guys. This is bang, bang, right there. What man wouldn't appreciate that? Well, I'm telling you, this farmer does. Now look, guys, I'm not influencing any of you guys to drink beer or alcohol or buy alcohol, but this is for an older man, an older gentleman. This is what he likes. I'm 31 years old. I can buy the stuff. I can give it away. But what I'm saying is if you can't do what I do, you know, send them a gift card. Send them something in the mail. Send them a letter. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you letting me hunt your field. Yada, yada, yada. You gotta be kind. You have to be courteous. These people are giving you permission to hunt their land. Their land isn't cheap. That's one part of it. The other big, big part of it is that the farmer or the landowner, the landowner specifically, they take on a huge liability letting people hunt on their land especially with shotguns when there's five six seven eight of them it can get dangerous in a field if you're not careful we all know that and that's where the farmer and the landowner really take on a huge responsibility and a liability letting us come on their field and hunt just like you guys you got to show your respects you got to be careful on their field you have to abide by their rules. If they don't want it drove on, you don't drive on it. And you got to show your respects. Respect, respect, respect. That is how you gain a farmer's respect. And that's how you become friends with them. And that's how each year they let you hunt. You call them. Hey, Bobby, how you doing? Yeah, sure, go ahead and hunt it. It's that easy once you show them who you really are. Show them that you respect them 
and that you're appreciative of what they are allowing you to do. Now, as for how do I get permission? Well, we all know our tricks of the trade. I use Onyx Maps a ton to get the farmer's address, or I'll Google the farmer, farmer's name and get their address, or I'll have uh, a buddy that knows the farmer that I get the, the phone number from and I give them a shout and I'm like, hey, I'm not a guide. That's number one I always state. I'm not a guide. I family hunt, I do pictures and I do video. I own a YouTube channel. That's exactly what I tell them, but in a better story. And uh, just be upfront and honest. Don't hide anything from a farmer. Don't. If you were kicked off their land before and you come back under a under a different name or something, eh, don't do it. You're just going to screw yourself again. I've seen it so many times just this year, guides in particular, disguising that they're guiding. They're taking clients on fields and they're making a ton of money off these farmers. And truthfully, I think that's extremely disrespectful. And if anybody's out there doing that, I don't agree with it at all. I'm, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of farmers and I try to do as much as I can for them. And when there are people out here just using their fields and making a ton of money off of it, it really pisses me off. You gotta be upfront and honest. If you're guiding on their field, you offer them some damn money. You say, hey, I'm guiding on your field. I have four clients out here. What do you want per gun, per day? You gotta be fair. Sorry, I got on a little rant there, but I've ran into it a bunch uh, this year just watching these people run over these farmers when these farmers are just being courteous just being nice to these people letting them hunt their ground and um, They're just backstabbing them taking people on them guiding making a ton of money and not caring to tell them one bit And just for the record. I have no problems with guides a lot of my close friends are guides and I help them out I used to guide myself, you know, on and off. I used to guide and, and I have no issues with guides. So all you guys that guide, don't think I'm hating on you. All I'm saying, and I know that most of you probably agree, just do it right. Be fair to these farmers. Without these farmers, we won't be able to hunt. So respect them. If, we, if enough of us disrespect these farmers and we go in there making a ton of money off guiding and they find out one time and they find out again and again and again, soon all these farmers are just going to be like, look, we're not letting anybody hunt because you guys are making too much money off me and I can't trust you. So be truthful if you're guiding. Don't mess it up for the rest of us. Oh, I love being out here. So we're out here at the marsh. This is Preston's uh, marsh. You guys have seen me hunt out here a ton. I just want to kind of come out here. It's beautiful. The wind really died down. I want to talk to you guys. We got some honkers just to honk and look at it. Look at them. Oh, they're just talking. Yep, gonna be doing some frog gigging out here. You guys better be watching out for that one because it's gonna be sweet. There are so many bullfrogs out here. These geese are just a honk and honking. Honk wars, baby. I know a lot of you guys are excited for honk wars if you haven't sent in your honking with the voice. You know, a lot of you commented and you love it. You wanna do it. So if you haven't sent in your 10, 20, 30 second video, of you honking and getting down, do it right here. There's gonna be winners to this. Every episode, whoever the winner is, is gonna win something ducks related. So, send them in right here. Almost completely dry, which is good. Uh, Preston and I are gonna be coming out here this summer and doing a ton of dirt work. We're gonna get rid of these old pit blinds that are out here. And we're gonna build a huge mound with a pit blind in the middle so we can have full body decoys in the middle of the marsh. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be sweet. Back to the subject, to getting permission. Now guys, getting permission, the main problem that a lot of you have, I can, I can probably guarantee it, is just confidence. It takes a little bit of confidence to call the farmer. A lot of you have commented on videos and sent me messages on Instagram. Bobby, what's your trick on getting permission? Guys, stop stressing calling a farmer and asking for permission. You're just another human being just like every other person that's called that farmer and asked for permission. So you calling that farmer, 
he isn't going to hate you for life. He's not going to think you're a horrible person for bugging him. You're just another person calling asking permission to hunt his property. So stop thinking into it so much. If you have the farmer's number, casually call him. Be nice. Be grateful. If he says no, tell him thank you for his time. Have a good day, sir. Be genuine with these people. If I call and I'm like, hey, this is Bobby. I want to hunt your field. Do you mind? I'm going to get a no every time. But if I call and go, how you doing, Jim? This is Bobby Guy. I uh, seen you had some geese on your field. I was calling you. Hate to bug you, by the way, but I'd really like to hunt these geese that are on your field. Give them where it is. Say it's at the intersection of yada yada and yada yada in the southeast corner i was just seeing if uh anybody else was hunting it and if you didn't mind if you approach it like that and you let them know that you're not an outfitter it's going to go a lot better than just being demanding so being nice you have to you got to be courteous to these people if you're not a courteous person you know just generally speaking you're probably not going to get a lot of yeses you're probably going to get quite a bit of no's but guys again again just like my duck call video, when I taught you guys how to blow a duck call, I didn't only teach you how to blow that duck call, but I wanted to let you guys know you gotta have confidence when blowing that duck call. Stop being scared or worrying who's around you. Oh, am I good enough for this person? Are they gonna think I suck? Are they gonna think I'm an idiot for blowing this thing when I'm not as good as them? Who cares? You're just another person, just like every other person that's called that farmer and asking for permission. If you get a no, that's all it is. It's only a no. It's not a bullet. It's not a gun. It's not a threat. It's nothing to worry about. It's just a no. But let me tell you, when you get a yes, it's worth it. You calling, you searching to find the number, and you calling that farmer in that uncomfortable situation, I mean, automatically makes it completely worth the phone call. Believe me. Man, we need to get these blinds out of here, Preston. Look at this. I'm just waiting for a big old snake to pop up. We got a couple more honk daddies walking out there. You guys better be practicing up for that honk wars. Big difference out here from this this past season when we were duck hunting it a bunch. We I've had some of the greatest duck hunts of my life out here, and it was in just one season with Preston. Show your appreciation to people. Hunting, it's about experiences and it's about new relationships. I have gained some of the best friends in my life right now, just this past year. Just this past year. New faces. Don't be afraid to call them. Don't be afraid to shake their hand. Don't be afraid to tell them thank you. Go out of your way to show your appreciation and I promise you, you'll have a ton of luck getting permission and sustaining permission on good property. Not all the time do you have to go out there and pay $1,000 to lease a field. Not all the time do you have to go pay $500 to lease a field. Sometimes all it takes is just being nice. Look at that bad boy, I got him. Actually, dude, he's a dead guy. I thought you were alive, man. He's deader than a doornail. <laughs> I picked him up and was like, uh, uh, dude, I think you're dead. He's a fresh dying one. Wonder why he kicked the old bucket. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I can relate to you guys that are afraid to call farmers. There's still a lot of times where if I've never talked to the farmer or never met him, even to this day being 31, uh, I will still second guess myself. I'm like, man, do you really want to call him? Do you really, you know, like, uh. But I'm telling you, the worst the farmer can say is no. That's it. But thank you for watching, guys. Again, the olive hats are for sale. My apologies on the shipping mess up. It was trying to charge you guys a butt ton, but they are fixed. And today and today only, they are 20% off. The rest of the weekend is free shipping, over $50 orders. The link will be in the description below. 
So go check it out, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Yeah. Guala, 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 guala. I'm living like it's no tomorrow. Don't know my style, won't let you borrow. You're thirsty, have a glass of water. I'm killing these beasts, I'll be more dead.